Hi, my name is Ron Keel. I'm one of the software developers here on the Ronorex team. In this short tutorial, I want to demonstrate to you some of the recording capabilities, more specifically the image-based recording capabilities and image-based validation uh, that you can do in the Ronorex recorder. Um, so here I've created a recording where I'm not using the image base to demonstrate and why you might use this. So I'll just play this back and we'll see that I do successfully actually click on the 10th, 11th, and 12th when I play this back. Um, the problem being is I'm actually relying on uh, the relative coordinates inside this control to accurately uh, click on this 10th, 11th, and 12th. If I move this to another month, I'm not going to get the desired result. I'm going to click on the 15th, 16th, and 17th respectively because of the relative coordinates. And so to correct this situation to, to achieve the desired result, let's use image-based uh, recognition in combination with our object-based re recognition. Uh, like I said, we'll notice here that it does actually perform the click on the calendar at the relative coordinate. So let's look at the image base and how that differs. So with image, now uses an image as a location and not a um, and not a relative coordinate. So it basically creates a screen capture image of that location and finds it within that object and then performs the click. Um, so now, uh, no matter what month I'm on or where that um, <clears throat> 10th, 11th, and 12th is, um, I get the desired result, 10th, 11th, 12th. So let's go and see how I actually did that. So we'll do a new recording just to demonstrate how I managed to create that. And we'll just call it. And now I'm going to record, but more importantly, I'm going to say image based. Because I've selected image based, it will now highlight the object that it finds from the point in green. And then inside that, we notice that there's a pink highlight around the 10 in this case. And if I move to the 11, it's 11. In this case, let's do something new. Let's do 17, 18, and 19. And then hit stop. And just so that plays back a little quicker, let's change that to. And then just to verify that the um, actual uh, image that it's looking for in the control is what I want. Let's take a closer look at the actual uh, image as a location. So the image base location and see what RunnerX has determined to be the correct image for this case. And in this case it's it did correctly select 17 for me. I can modify that if that's not if the automatic selection didn't work. I can change that after the fact if I choose. So that's okay. And we'll just go through and verify each one of those really quick. 18 looks acceptable to me. That's a nice, concise image. And verify the last one. And here I see a problem. This red highlight is going to get in our way because it may or may not be highlighted depending on the uh, actual uh, uh, current date, that, high, that red highlight indicating the uh, current date. So this is a case where I do need to modify and make sure I really only select that 19 and then select OK. And so that should work for us now. We just play that back. 17, 18, 19. Great. And so again, we'll move that to another date or another month to change the location. Let it go. And again, it works for us as expected. However, I do want to point out something here. There is a case that I can see where this might not work, and that would be if the date was highlighted. For example, if I click on the 17th here and that's highlighted, this will fail because 17 is now highlighted and it is a different image from that uh, from the uh, screenshot that it was that it used. So 17 here wasn't uh, highlighted, so now the image is going to be incorrect that it's looking for. I can show you a way to work around that as well. So we'll just play that back. So that will fail. And we see, in fact, it did fail. And let's look at this a little closer. So when it fails, it can't find. It'll tell you the exact image that it was looking for. And it will give you the current screenshot 
of that element so that you can see exactly uh, what the state was when it was looking for. And in this case, we see very clearly, well, it was looking for 17, and this is 17 highlighted, uh, which is what I expected. And now let's take a look how we can get around that. We have the ability to perform pre-processing on the image to control how RonRex is able to uh, identify um, and, and how it controls its comparison algorithms, if you will, uh, on that element. And pre-processing, if I change this to image Sobel now, that will take all the edges and bring them together as lines. And in this case, I think this will work quite well for us. If I had just done edges, that probably wouldn't be enough. Well, I know it wouldn't be enough because I would have inside and outside edges and they would still look different based on whether it was highlighted or not highlighted. So again, by collecting, uh, clicking on the image Sobel, now I have uh, exactly what my um, desired result should be, being that everything, uh, all the edges are brought together as lines, and I look at it as lines. Although it's not OCR, it's uh, the next best thing. And we'll just play that back. And now it works just as expected. So that's how you can override the default behavior. So by default, RonRex does the best match. So it does, it tries to do a one-to-one -one match um, by default. You can control this default as well. If in your case, edge image, um, uh, the pre-processing with edges Sobel is your desired for every type of image based, you can turn that on. Um, there's also a lot of other defaults here, but that's outside of the scope of this tutorial. I think that should get you well under get you, get you well underway for uh, doing image-based recording, and and I think it shows also uh, quite clearly how you might uh, what use cases you might use uh, use this image base. It is kind of meant as a fallback. So <clears throat> let's take a look at image-based validation just using the same uh, recording. And let's just do a show image. And now let's do a record. And again, we're going to select image based. And now we're going to select validate. And then I'm going to select this image because that's the image I want to validate. And then I get a nice edit dialog box here. There's some similarities here between the editing capabilities with being able to select a region and this kind of thing between the image based recording. However, here there's some differences. The main being this. If I have contains, that means I'm looking and, and I make a selection, in this case the turtle's head, I'm saying as long as the object and this image contains the head, even if this image at runtime changes, I don't care as long as it contains this turtle head. Now compare is more of an exact match. Compare says not only does the turtle head have to be there, it has and look exactly as it does inside this box, but it has to be there at this exact same location as it is here in this picture. Now it's also important to note, I, I get a lot of people that ask me the question, what about uh, screen resolution? Well, it doesn't matter about screen resolution. Um, and that being because the, um, the pixels of the picture still don't change only your view of that changes when you change your screen resolution. So screen resolution would have no effect in this case. And that also applies for image-based recording as well. And we'll just play that back and just validate it just so that we see the report that the validation exact, uh, does succeed. And then maybe we'd want to do one more quick validation so that we can see how that looks when it fails. So let's do record, image based, and validate. Go to the calendar, select the calendar, and now let's validate that it contains the 16. Say OK and stop. And then let's highlight it so that we know that it'll fail because it won't contain the 16 as we were looking for it and go ahead and play that back and it in fact does fail showing us that the screenshot from the element wasn't there and it does not contain the specified image and of course giving us the screenshot of what we were actually looking for and that's it I think that concludes this session um, and I believe you'll be uh, well prepared for taking a full advantage of the imaging functionality in RonRx. Hope to see you in the next demo.
Thank you. Bye.